<laughs> you were just... If you had any idea the way humans react to seeing something like you, it would probably astound you. <laughs> because you're, you've pushed my cuteness thing into overload here. Like I, I, I'm not even sure I can take the intensity of your cuteness. I mean, that's really young. I know. It's so tiny. I was just trying to be pleasant. I wasn't... My intention had never been to flirt with her. It had nothing to do, really... We're really focused on the summer. Yeah, that's all. And I... And she invited me, so I wasn't trying to create any kind of weird situation. You know, I didn't invoke the situation or anything. No dumb area. <laughs> <laughs> Evan! One in. Alright. Hiya! I've got Hi. my camera rolling. Does that bother you? No, okay. Cool. This is Maddie, Evan. Hi. I'm Evan. Too. Yeah, good to meet you as well. Should we come in? Sure. See your yeah. mans? Yeah, totally. You stick your head in here for a minute. I'm all oh. gung ho to get back out on the river again. Alright, well, do you want any potato chips? We didn't come extremely loaded down or anything, but I did bring some hard lemonade and some potato chips. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, if y'all were into it, I have a, a repairing an errand that I need to run. I need to take some uh, trash barrels up to uh, um, the, what is that called? Homewood, uh, Homewood Green. But I did, you know, did a redevelopment of the old mill up there. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm down yeah, for anything. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I'm starting to retire myself out of there. Hannah's fucking great. And she's almost fully trained in to take it over. All we need to get her is a new person for her to train in. And I see your guitar case up there. Yeah. Check out this guitar I just bought. What the fuck? <laughs> good, good. You guys want to go boat around? Sure. Yeah. I saw this video of um, this guy playing this. It was like a maybe like a baroque era instrument or something. It was it what you know how when you like get your finger wet and you can like, okay make a glass sound harmonica. Bite. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. probably haven't seen Jake's boat. Yet. No. Yeah. This. You is, told uh, me that he was building it. This is Jake's rig right here. Wow, that's I mean, pretty well fucking impressive. Year. Yeah, open the door and take a peek in. He's uh, almost uh, completely dried in now. And moving on to uh, building into it, putting an engine in there. They're building the stern wheel right now up in uh, this guy's yard. Hell of a rig, yeah, his bed will be up there. Down here will be like a, there'll be a small little room portioned off to be a bathroom and then uh, kitchen and a lot of fucking open space. And he's yeah. been doing it almost exclusively by himself? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's, he's, he's gotten a lot of help from Jack, whose boat that is up there. Yeah, you um, told me about Jack. For the most part, though, he's just fucking plugging away. I'm really impressed. I haven't seen him in years. Oh, so he's going to have a stern wheel at that end. I see yeah, that now. Yeah. Wow. Developing software to control more realistic facial expressions on robots. Yeah. She and I were already talking earlier today about how mixed my feelings are about such things because I think it's really cool at one level, but I have an extreme pet peeve about what I call AU, artificial unintelligence, yeah. and about how uh, humans are being more and more controlled by what I call artificial intelligence rather than the other way around. An algorithm decided that I was using somebody else's music in one of my movies. So they, uh, they made a copyright claim and there's no music in the movie anywhere. Something's wrong. It's wrong. You know, he like his thing was giving flowers to candidates and he gave like a flower to Jed Bush one time. We're here already. Yeah, so I made a movie called TV News Commit Suicide that's a parody of 
the way the TV news lied about the protesters during the time of the G20? There's no actual suicide in the movie. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's now age restricted with a warning. You can't even go into the video because there's a warning, or not at first, uh -huh. there's a warning that it contains disturbing images of suicide, which it doesn't. So I think that it's actually political censorship. You know, I think that the YouTube didn't want this criticism of, of uh, the way the mass media was handling the G20. So they put this restriction on it, which means that young people can't see it at all unless they go through an adult account. But also anybody who tries to get into it has to go, has to click on an agreement that they're not going to be upset by seeing uh, these images, these images. disturbing. So, you know, a lot yeah. of people are going to be like, fuck, I don't want to see somebody kill themselves, you know, yeah. even though that's not what it is. Just let it run. Um, let's see if I can grab something. So this will probably at some point crank the boat up and run up the river at some speed. So I'm going to make, uh, here, let me slide it up. Okay. Um, make it so uh, uh, we don't have to put you out in a... Uh, um, We'll make it so you can hang out with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm also partially sitting here though because I've got a wide angle camera. Oh yeah, no, and, and you're good and hang there. But, uh, but I'm just saying once we crank up, if we start to put down some fucking miles quick, cause we're gonna run, not that terribly far, but like maybe five miles up the mine. I'm getting a dinner with Captain Clark here. There you go. <laughs> Dinner tater chips and hard lemonade. <laughs> I'll have to send you the link if I didn't already. Please. To the movie that I shot the last time yeah. uh, that has you, you in it. curiosity and drive. What's that? Some what? people have people encouraging them and, and not saying like, oh, that's a stupid idea. That's like a stupid dream. Well, that, that's true. And, yeah. and that's one good thing about a university is that a lot of times people are encouraged. Like my whole life, I've had people say, you're fucked up. You're crazy. You should be in prison. And if you don't have encouragement, then you have to be a really stubborn person who wants to just do what you want to do. Yeah. One that like, I don't know, I spend a lot of time thinking about or being aware of is, uh, I feel like some people also, for different reasons, privilege or whatever, um, start to realize, like, that just, like, literally moment to moment, we make all of the fine-grained choices and um, and that there's like a massive world out there of things that you can decide to do and that um, and then there's a poverty of realizing or having the strength or believing that or that you know the curiosity or the drive to like explore like you know those and then again just a plain old realize that there's just this like fucking multiverse of options. Um, Plus it really helps if you're not afraid all the time. I find fewer and fewer people who are willing to do anything spontaneously and that really bothers me. And I think that that's related to the whole fear thing. Some people are afraid to step out of whatever their routines are. Yep. But the more you're capable of being spontaneous and the less afraid you are, the more you find yourself in really interesting situations that you learn things from all the time. I think I might be 45. <laughs> well, here you are, you know, look at your lifestyle now. In order to get to where you are, you had to make a lot of decisions that other people would be terrified by. 
But you lead a really good life, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. I mean, they were all, like, literally... I didn't even have to make barely any scary decisions. All the ones I, like, made that were big were, like, uh, making room to do fun shit. Like, there, there are some people who only focus on their weaknesses and focus on changing them. Like, focus, they, they focus on not being that way. And I think sometimes, you like, to be happy, you just kind of have to... Like notice them and just make choices that just are like build your life around like what makes you have like fun and what makes you smile you know so i'm definitely trying to have fun in my life yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like what the fuck i'm not gonna I don't live know forever why you'd want to do that but <laughs> but i mean yeah. But I'll respect your weird decision. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. but, I, I mean, like, I, I make movies constantly. I, I realized recently that I am now the most prolific movie maker in the entire 127 years of movie making. And I'm fairly sure that that's true. And a lot I, of goddamn movies. Yeah, 692 now. I'm making my next 693rd next week. but I sent you the link to the one that I was telling you about. There's got to be at least one horror movie called Slaughter Beach Bingo Party or something. <laughs> anyway, I, why people choose to lead lives that really aren't fun for them is what's bizarre to me. Because the human condition, you know, you can't fucking, you can't help it sometimes, but... But yeah, to that's, like, a, that's a rough one. To oh, layer, thing. like to layer, um, you know, just being miserable on top of being miserable has got to be a fucking rough place to be. I can't imagine. Well, the thing is that okay, I'm miserable a lot. There's no doubt about it. Oh yeah. But I know why I'm miserable, and I know what I have to do to not be miserable. But I just know that maybe I can't do that at this point in time because of whatever reason. Yeah. But I also know that I can have fun if I do this thing or that, that thing or whatever, and then I do it because that'll be something that counterbalances the misery somewhat. Picklesburg? Do you not yeah, know it? It's like- thing out on the bridge. Yeah, it's yeah. a pickles festival. Oh no, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> like I bought like a little jar of pickle moonshine with like a little pickle floating in it. But there was a giant pickle that said Heinz on it. So oh. that was kind of my first clue that like Heinz is like you. I used to work for the Heinz History Center, which is, Actually, it's right over there, but you can't see it right now. Uh, it's not a bad place to work. Are these tanks filled with anything? Uh, these are, well, those are all just uh, mooring cells, ice breakers. We can okay. scooch down to the next one, which is a lot more fun to explore the Catholics have taken over this one. So is this boat going to stay here if I step up out of it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's powered into the dock right now. You got the Catholics uh, fucking boys again. Rowing teams taking over up here and so everything's getting painted over and fancied up a little bit. Uh, How do you think the Graffitius even got to do that word fumo hoof foos over there? You think they hung down by a rope or what? Yeah, totally. That's, that's really uh, quite an accomplishment, I think. Who's going to pick up these barrels? They'll now? fill them up and then I'll take them out of here. What are they going to fill them up with? Just debris? Oh, okay. What in the hell does that mean? <laughs> I'll leave that one to you. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, so it's like, um, like when girls go out and party, they call it like hot girl. Oh, it's hot girl summer. But then when COVID happened, it was shot girl summer. Shot girls? Yeah, for the vaccine. Oh, okay. Yeah, but now it's back to croc girl summer. <laughs> so why, why croc girls? You mean because they... <laughs> Do they wear saying. Crocs or what? I mean, I <laughs> it's a thing. I just made it up. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like a play on Hot Girl Summer. Because oh, okay. Hot Girl okay. Summer is, is real. And so is Shot Girl Summer. 
Like, I'm still just kind of taking pictures of everything because I feel like I'm still a tourist. Well, the funny thing for me is that whenever you're any place, or at least whenever I'm any place, you kind of take it for granted that this place exists. And then five years later, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. So one of the one of the responsibilities or whatever of people who are obsessive camera people like myself <laughs> is creating the memory of these places. Just whatever either of you do, don't fall in the fucking holes. This, the, the, these, <laughs> these holes are really making me nervous. The interesting thing about Cooper Beatty is that it had a population about the size of my high school, but it had 26 different nationalities because people came from all over the world to do uh, opal mining there. They built the hobbit holes and, ooh, there's a spider. Uh, and they like have pictures on the internet of like what the hobbit holes are doing now. Uh -huh. And there's just like a bunch of sheep. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I love Peter Jackson, so just having Peter Jackson be from New Zealand is good enough for me, but I, I worked on a an exhibit, uh, a Wales exhibit that was from New Zealand, from uh, a museum there, and 